everyone and welcome to today's video. Uh, for those of you just joining us, my name is Alfred and this is Capital City Aquatics. And for those of you who have been watching for a while, uh, welcome back. In today's video, um, there's going to be some big changes. Um, what I'll be doing is I will be replacing this 20 gallon tank with this 50 gallon uh, bowed front tank. Um, reason I'm doing that is it just opens up more options as to what fish um, I can keep. Obviously there's a bigger um, volume of water so it'll be easier as far as maintenance goes. And it uh, allows me to perhaps spread out some of my aquarium plants and uh, I'm allowed to do more flexibility with respects to my aquascaping. So that will be on the agenda for today and uh, we'll go through how it's going to get uh, get set up and then I'll start the uh, the cycling of this tank. Okay, so I've lowered the water in my 20 gallon tank to make it easier to move. And I've cleared the spot where my 50 gallon is going to go. Next up, I'll get the, uh, the stand for my 50 and then I'll transfer the tank up here as well. All right, uh, my aquarium stand is in place and cleaned off. So I'll be transferring up my aquarium next. Okay, my aquarium is in place now. Um, there is some cleaning required. Shouldn't take too long. And then I'll start on the aquascaping. Okay, I'm using my Python filter to add water to the tank and then I'll get a better idea for the finalized aquascaping. I'm using two different types of stones. So I have these here and then I have my dragon stone over here and then I have a few pieces of driftwood. I have one larger piece here in the back and then a smaller piece in the front with some java fern attached to it. So I'm going to wait for this to fill up and then I'm going to start running my um, my filtering system. I have the, the Eheim filter system, a canister filter. I'll start running that as well as my hang on back from my 20 gallon. Um, I'll just run that simply to provide the beneficial bacteria that's growing in that filter and I'll run it in this tank for a while to start the uh, the cycle for the beneficial bacteria to grow in here. All right so now that I have my aquarium um, filled with water it's time to set up my canister filter. Now I have the Eheim canister filter so I have my filter media. I have mechanical and the uh, biofilter media as well. So I'll be setting up that uh, as you can tell here. I already have my me uh, mechanical filtration uh, in and then I'm going to be adding my pads and then I'm going to be adding my biofilter balls and I'll uh, continue to add my pads to set that up and then we'll be good to go and I'll turn that on and get that running in the tank as well. All right so you can see here that the uh, substrate for the canister filter the actual balls are quite small which is what you want and we'll uh, give that a quick rinse off and then we'll add it to our canister filter. Okay, so I've rinsed off 
my uh, substrate filter balls and I've added them to the canister. Now, I didn't use all of them. I do still have quite a bit left over for um, a replacement when needed. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the, uh, the last two filter pads. And we'll just put those in on top. So we have the white and then the black. And then we have our lid here. We'll just put that on, lock it in place. And then all of that goes into the canister. Um, it locks in place. I'll set up my hose lines for them and get it up and running shortly. I'll show you once that's complete. Okay, so I have my tank uh, up and running now. Obviously, there are no fish in it yet or shrimps. That'll come uh, probably in the next week or so. But I do have the hardscape in. I'll be putting the plants in shortly. I have my canister filter up and running. And I have have it neatly tucked away in here. And it's running away quite nicely. I have my hang on bag filter, which has all of the beneficial bacteria from my 20 gallon in this tank uh, running to provide the beneficial bacteria to this tank. And then I transferred over some of the hardscape rocks and wood as well. And the next step will be to uh, put in my plants. So I'll uh, do that and I'll check back uh, with you when they're done. All right, so I have added my plants to my 50 gallon. I have them all. I have the nice taller ones here in the back. Then I have some foreground and mid-level plants as well. And uh, these will all uh, grow in a little bit more in time. So now I'm just going to let this tank cycle uh, for the next little while and uh, when my readings are good I will then add some livestock to this aquarium. So I want to thank you for joining me on uh, the setup of my 50 gallon uh, bowed front aquarium. Uh, if you like this type of stuff hit the like button I would definitely ask that you subscribe to the channel. I count on the support from my subscribers. And I'll see you all on the next video. Have a good day, everyone.